I absolutely love this time of year and I also love making ravioli. It's a simple dish, but it tastes absolutely amazing. Some great produce out there right now in season. So go on, get out there and make some ravioli. First add flour to a food processor and aerate 15 to 20 seconds. Add two large eggs and one egg yolk to a bowl and whisk. Add a good pinch of salt, turn on the food processor and add the eggs. When the dough looks like fine breadcrumbs, it's done. Now lightly flour your worktop, add the dough and knead until smooth and silky. For the ravioli filling, top and tail the squash. Now cut in half and remove the seeds. Add squash to a sheet pan, followed by a drizzle of olive oil and a good pinch of salt. Next, finely dice a shallot. Add olive oil to a pan, add the shallots, followed by garlic, star anise, cloves, and nutmeg. Now stir in a low heat for five minutes. After five minutes, remove star anise and cloves. When the squash is cooked, leave to cool. When cool, add squash to the pan, and cook out five minutes. At the end, season to taste and add to a bowl. Next, add mascarpone cheese, mix well and place in the fridge. For the sage cream sauce, finely diced shallot, add olive oil to a pan, add the shallots, followed by garlic and fresh sage leaves. Now sweat for five minutes. After five minutes, add flour and cook out three to four minutes. Next, add white wine and stock. Now reduce by half. When reduced, add cream and cook until smooth and thick. At the end, add Parmesan and season to taste. Next, lightly flour your worktop, cut the dough in half and flatten with the palm of your hand. On the widest setting, run the dough through the machine, fold and repeat this process two to three times. Now feed the dough through the machine, working from the widest to the narrowest setting. Now use a pastry cutter to shape the ravioli. Place the filling in the middle of the dough. Use water around the outer edge to help the ravioli stick together. Place the dough on top, push one end to the other end and seal together. Also, try not to trap any air inside of the ravioli. Add to salted boiling water and cook three to four minutes. So there you have it, it's that easy and it looks and tastes absolutely delicious. Let's tuck into this then. Mm. Just lather it in that cream sauce. And look at that filling, gorgeous. Mm. It's a delicious little start of this, or a main, very rich, but classic for flavors that I know you'll love. Thanks guys.